Today I'm going to show you how to set up your top box nano kit. In the box you're going to get your tank and your mod. Inside of here you're going to get a couple extra coils, a glass tube, and a USB charger. First thing we want to do is unscrew your tank from your battery, get your mod, and flip it upside down. And we want to unspin it right here. So that it comes out like that. This also unscrews from the glass, which you don't want to do when you fill it or change your coil. You don't need to do this, I'm just going to show you how so you know. If you unspin here and here, this whole thing comes apart so that you can get the glass out to change it if you were to break it. So like that, and then that like that. That's how you would change the glass. Um, make sure whenever you're opening the top to fill it or opening the bottom to change the atomizer that you're not unscrewing the metal that's touching the glass. So it should always have that touching it unless you're changing the glass. Otherwise the glass will come loose, juice will go everywhere, it's a giant mess. We're going to change this atomizer to the one in your box with the black grommet on the bottom. So find that and then take this and unspin this right here like that. And go ahead and pop that in your box so you have it. When you do change these regularly, look underneath where the coil goes and make sure there's no condensation there. It will collect there. It's normal. It's very annoying if you let it go, though. It'll start leaking out of the air holes. Take your other coil and spin it in. And then if you want to go ahead and take your bottle of liquid and put a couple drops right in the center of the atomizer, you can. Try to get it where the cotton is. Don't put too much. That way it'll get it started. You don't have to wait so long to vape it after you fill it up. Go ahead and screw this back on the bottom. And then you want to shut your airflow, which this ring on the bottom will spin. So just shut that so that it's closed. And then unspin the top. Fill it up around the outside. You don't want to get any into that center tube. Um, if you do, you can wipe it out with a paper towel. And stop filling it once you get to that silver bar that runs across the middle. When you're done, go ahead and spin your top back on. And then you can open your airflow back up by spinning that ring on the bottom. Spin this on to your mod. Um, this takes removable batteries, so you should have also gotten a 18650. This is the positive side, and then that is the negative. If you take this and pop the back off, it's just held on there by magnets, it should come off pretty easy. Take your battery, it's negative side up. So you wanna take the flat side, that, pop it up against that gold contact and push up and slide your battery in. Put the back back on. Your mod should come on. Um, it's gonna be at 60 watts. Go ahead and start turning that way down, probably 20, 25 watts or so. Um, this mod also has temperature control, which is why we changed the coil in the first place. It's easier to get used to this while you're in regular wattage before you get into the temp control. The coil that we took out was the one with the blue grommet, and it's a nickel coil. Um, it's 0.15. To change into temp mode, if you push the power button three times, it'll switch you from W to NI. Three more times, it'll switch you from NI to TI. Three more times, it'll switch you back to wattage. Um, it's in Celsius on the temp mode. If you push plus or minus and roll it over, it'll go you, get you to Fahrenheit. Probably a good degree to start would to be 400 probably. Turn it up if you want more, turn it down if you want less. Make sure when you do put that blue coil in though, you switch it to the NI mode. When you change coils in here, it's supposed to ask you if your atomizer is new. Sometimes it does not, so you have to force it. So if you switch it from like the 0.5 that we put in here to the 1.2 or 1.5 that's in your box, you have to make sure it's going to ask you. If it doesn't, unscrew your tank a little bit and push your power button. It should say 9.99 at the top. If it doesn't, unscrew your tank more and push the power button again. Once it says that, screw your tank back down, push the power button, and it should say new atomizer, yes or no. Push plus for yes, and then it should be reading it correctly. Um, to charge this, you're going to take a USB charger and you're going to pop the little one in on here and then the bigger one into a USB wall plug. And there's a battery indicator on here. You can also charge this battery on an external charger. It's up to you. I think that is it. Thanks for watching.